Hi everyone, Shirtlight here, and since it is the time for a gameplay video again, I've dusted off my copy of Gundam Side Stories, which I'm running on the PS3 emulator, and this time I'm gonna be playing with the GM Aqua. So, GM Aqua, what does it do and what is it good for? Oh well, to sum it up, it's. I would. Uh, like the best point of a, of comparison would be a mix between the GIF and uh, maybe the Zaku ground type heavy equipment version. Because, uh, as you can promptly see from the. from my uh, moveset, I'm. I basically have a harpoon gun and uh, yeah, if I have any stacks on the AP gauge I can <coughs> also use the same input for the missiles that are in the backpack not the big ones uh, that you could see on the shoulders now it is the small uh, small ones on the backpack and uh, yeah on this mission I just have to wreck some gun cannons Though I gotta admit, I got kind of rusty, and well, given that I'm playing this one on controller, not on keyboard, as you could see from the latency of my dodging, but I'm doing pretty well, and this one is plenty resilient, so I don't really have to be that careful, as you can see those are the missiles, they actually go out of the pods on the backpack, in case you wanted to know. As you can see, I've stunned it, but I got hit by the cannons because this game treats a lot of the cannons uh, like their instant stun devices, which <coughs> you know carried on to the later games. But anywho, <coughs> as you can see, I'm struggling to keep up a little because there's one pet peeve I have with the fucking harpoon gun, and that's the fact that. Uh, First of all, low ammo, low ammo capacity. Second of all, you can only uh, fire it while standing completely still, so it kind of limits your option a little. And uh, my final point of contention with the with that weapon is that you know you don't really get a lot of options when it comes to that. As you can see, I wanted to get the coup de gras on that. Arx 772, but the thing is, this is an oil derrick, and that means that I hit the pillar first. But hey, I got him with a second shot. And uh, oh, look, there's more GM Aquas. And since I beelined it for targets, I didn't get a lot of kills, as you could see from the score. Anywho, on to another level. This one does have water, and does also have a uh, you know, it's also about like drawing out the target and getting it. So that's what I'm gonna do. This one does suck at taking the pot shots from the distance, which will make it a little difficult against the aircraft, but I think I can manage. The RGC 80 tried to get some high ground and get me from there, but yeah, unfortunately, my combo got. A little interrupted which is a shame because in this game the melee the melee combos usually consist of three hits and uh, basically you should be able to hit all three unless you wanna well, you should hit all three unless you wanna get bodied by the unit uh, right after you know right after you finish the second hit because it's the third hit that topples and you're basically left a sitting duck right after the combo ends. Like just for a few frames, well, for a few seconds to be precise. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's one of the problems. Is that you, is that you're there like a sitting duck and for something like a GM cannon, they get a freebie when it comes to hitting. However, as you can see, they also have the problem with 
as I uh, promptly demonstrated. If there's something that keeps you in place while firing, it can leave you very open to stuff when you miss it. And yeah, I tried getting that gem again, but failed to topple it in one set of swipes. Now I'm going for this one, because I don't want to get flanked, as you can see. Now I got the combo right. I mean, uh, now I got the whole combo out with the help of the harpoon, which is a piece of good news. Now I got, now I kind of intersected with the hitbox of the cannon, and that's how I got hit. And the missiles go! Okay, that, that did leave a scratch, which is good. Now I'm gonna raise hell on these three. We got. Gym ground, gym striker, and whoa, that was a neat swipe. Fortunately, it didn't hit me. And the ground gym tried to use the bazooka, however, I still have my trusty, trusty harpoon gun, which ain't ideal, but it's good enough for what it is. Now I'm getting flanked from something else. Could be the Type 61 or possibly. Oh, no, that's uh, that's a mass production gun tank, from what I've seen. Yeah, oh, uh, now I'm gonna get this one with the stun from the anchor, and bam! Got him! On to another one, I guess. Yep. Mission complete. Two out of three missions done. Third one left to go. So, yeah, as you can see, I got a little more points for get a little more destructions and this one is an, el an elimination mission which means you just have to get them all I should be dodging a little more that's for sure but you know I've got sufficient armors to <laughs> sufficient armor stats to just ignore most hits which you know coupled with the fact that I that when playing with the controller I'm sometimes too lazy to dodge it just makes for a rather underwhelming combination to be sure so yeah I guess these guys are already getting their feet wet which you know it's alright by me I mean they're in my domain and I'm gonna have an easier time getting them okay. got them with the anchor now for the Standard gym, standard gym got harpooned like a whale, and now let's let's see. We got an MP gun tank. That's a gym cannon that tried to take pot shots using the 240 millimeter gun on its back, and oh, bot missiles that yeah, did nothing, fortunately. And uh, yeah, let's let's dodge. Got that one. It's two tanks in one place. And this is a bit like shooting fish in the barrel, or like harpooning fish in the barrel. So why not making more fun with the missiles, right? Yeah, let's let's go. Anywho, apologies for my rather idly sounding co command. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Uh, commentary throughout the video it's uh I'm probably saving most of my energy for for today's stream of Gundam vs Zeta so as you can see this guy struggles against the aircraft pretty hard because the harpoon gun isn't very good due to the lack of you know projectiles that, that I can just throw out and they hit stuff which makes me kind of, you know, reliant on specific angles. And yeah, uh, as you can see, I've got. I'm getting these done pretty fast. And anywho, uh, yeah, I got a few, few more video projects lined up. As always, I mean, I usually do, but. 
the next week's uh, next week's video is probably gonna be quite interesting and uh, I even got a guest segment from a guy so that's gonna be cool so yeah let's let's get these gems and uh, let's roll get that one one shot one kill got hit by some beams but that didn't do much and that's gonna be a stun and a hit confirm into the saber now the only thing now the only things left will be the saber fish I mean saber fishes but the thing is uh, <laughs> this game didn't uh, completely harmonize it correctly so it's Saber fish, which sounds like you know the Savior Gundam from Sea Destiny, which got sliced and diced <laughs> in the original anime. So I suppose that's fitting. And by the way, I've uh, I've been thinking about uh, stuff like setting I don't know subscriber goals or something like that. I mean, I I don't really care much for those numbers, but you know something that people can work towards and give around if you get me to a hundred I'll do I'll have to I'll be obligated to get uh, get through the story mode of new breaker again yeah I mean that could be fun anywho uh, shirt light signing out